Hey guys, it is one half of Mint Model Horses, and today we are doing collection tours. Well, I'm doing my collection tour. Obviously, we have two of them here because there's two of us, so um, yeah, it's about a week before Briar Fest, and we have finally gotten around to doing collection tours. So, um, a week, yeah, a week before Briar Fest as I'm recording this, hopefully it doesn't take me forever to get up, get this video up, um, because, well, I've filmed this like twice now. <laughs> and I just haven't uploaded it ever. So so this is a little side shelf that I have out right now um, while I'm working on getting my room set up the rest of the way, but yeah. Um, so I have the Justify Resin, who I found from our local tag shop, and I'm so happy to finally have him because he looks so cute with my American Pharaoh resin. And then this is uh, Dixieland Grand, who is a Briar Porcelain of the Walking Horse. And he looks just like my friend's horse. Um, his name is Bling or Bling and On. He's a spotted saddle horse and he's really cute. Okay, down here, this is the infamous Bob, of course, painted by Hannah. You guys know the story, I'm sure. Um, this is Kumar. Well, that's what I call him at least. I have no idea what his OF name is, but he was one of my first briars. Sorry, this shelf is really just a mess of horses. Um, I need to kind of redo my shelves, but I think that's going to wait until after Briar Fest, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so this is Spectrum. I'm kind of debating on selling her. <laughs> I just bought another horse on this mold, so we'll see once that horse comes. Um, but for the longest time, I really did not like this mold. And then my friend got a Pepto Boom Small. No, Pepto. What's its name? Pepto Bismol. Hannah and I just have always called it Pepto Bismol. What is its name? Paint Me a Pepto. My friend got me a Paint Me a Pepto that I held on for a while um, and had in hand and I kind of fell in love with the mold. So um, yeah, she might be staying. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. I can't ramble too long because this is going to take forever. Um, and we have Diablo, who is very pretty. I got him new in box for 40 bucks, which is insane. Um, and then we have my glossy four-eyed Misty, who of course is my mm -hmm. first um, first horse in my collection. I'm trying to get you guys to see that she's the four-eyed and she is glossy. Um, here's the Gorilla Pinto, just the regular run. Um, back here is Blue Suede Shoes. I don't know if you can really see him. Let's see. There he is. Um, and then down here is just a little vintage foal that was also one of my first buyers ever. Um, moving down, most of these are my friend's horses. Uh, Chocolate is not mine. That American Pharaoh isn't mine. Um, yeah, actually none of these are mine except for Barbaro. Um, down here are all my sale horses. Nothing too exciting. Obviously, they're all for sale. This guy has to lean down. He's not like that for... He's not always like that. He's usually somewhere else, but um, he doesn't fit up if he's standing. Anyway, um, yeah. So moving on to the big shelves. Okay, I don't want to spoil too much. We're just going to go down this shelf first, and then we'll go to the big shelf. So um, quick little story. I have changed my shelves since my last collection tour, and they look amazing, but I think I'm going to talk about that at the end. Um, because we were going to do a big transition video between the two shelves in my room. Um, but we never really did that. We never did a proper intro or any, like, proper vlog style stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, um, starting up here, we have Vermeer and Elton I, who are the Premier Club horses from last year. Moving down, we have my Vallegros. We have the original Vallegro, Matt Indu, and, um horse whose name I don't remember. Luci Lucian? 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 I think it's Lucian or Luc Lucian. I don't know. All right. Um, moving on to minis. I'll just kind of scan over them. There's a lot of them. This is a Stone Pebbles um, that I've had for forever. There's a little, that thing is for sale. ASBs, walkers back there. I love these little guys, these little rearing guys. Oh my gosh, so cute. My Magnolias, who I've kind of stopped conga-ing. I hate the unicorn trend right now. So I really don't want any more unicorns on this mold. Um, here's a really crowded stable mate shelf. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. We've got all the babies back there. We've got some unicorn babies, we've got some babies that are laying down. My little Mustang guys that I love. Um, 
little pony guys I love. These little um, sailmate club things are so cute. I love those. And then here's a whole bunch of just miscellaneous. I have my one chip. I've got some sailmate club stuff. Gambler's Choice. Various molds. We've got some Premier Club things. More stablemate club. Uh, whatever this guy's name is, I don't like him, so he's for sale if anyone wants him. Moving down, we have my camp during warm bloods. This conga is currently at 30, I believe. Um, yeah, there they are. There's a lot. <laughs> uh, and then the last of my stable mates, more stuff. My cat is just deciding to d destroy things, so sorry about that. Um, way more stablemate club stuff. Yeah, nothing too interesting. I'm trying to downsize, downsize my stablemates, so they're kind of a mess because I've been looking through things to sell. Um, yeah, okay, moving down. We have the Rocky Mountain Regular Run from 2013. This is the Great Lakes Congress-ish. It's for Dades, who is for sale, which is why he's down here. Um, also, I don't have anywhere else for him. <laughs> the Simba and this is uh, Gutsen, but you can't really tell that he's glossy because he's so dusty. Moving on to the big part. Um, this is going to take a minute, so <laughs> just bear with me. This is probably going to be like a pretty long video, but we'll see. So we have my ASBs. Since my last collection tour, I don't know how many I had in my last collection tour, but I have 20 now. So we're going to go through them a little bit quickly and I'll point them out. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I have my uh, my body harmonies at the end and my nice harmonies there. My body harmony will be painted eventually, and then my nice harmony. We have Kahindi, who is from the Wild Animal series. Also, these shelves are seven feet tall, <laughs> so um, sorry if I'm shaking a little bit, but the ASBs are on top of my seven foot shelves, so they're like eight feet up. <laughs> um, we have uh, Livingston, the uh, Year of the Horse Deco wood grain. Chinese Year of the Horse thing. Um, this is Muir Woods. He's a um, America the Beautiful web special. Blue Note, Paddington's Market Distinction. This is the Clock Horse who I got from the same girl who sold me that uh, gray JC Penny ASB. Very, very lovely. Um, we have Confetti who is one of 400 from the Sunshine, Sunshine Celebration, I believe or birthday bash oh gosh i don't even remember um and we have holiday on parade Ooh, um the 35th anniversary i believe is what that is um the gold filigree i really need the rest of these so if anyone knows of the wedgwood the copenhagen or the gold charm for sale please let me know um and then we have the silver filigree from the 60th anniversary um, I, I don't know what the 60th anniversary was of, but that's what he was from. <laughs> um, we have Duke, the original black and white ASB, Ryman, the gray JC Penny ASB, uh, Oleach, wait, what is his name? Patriot, Patriot, uh, Odyssey, and, uh, that is the just the red banner. All right, moving down to my Letigos. I think I'm just gonna keep going across the rows um, because that's what's easiest. Um, at the very end, we have Harley D. Zip, Latigo, e, um, hmm, what is this? Oh, the Bollywood Surprise, the Bay, Matt Bay Bollywood Surprise. Um, I have no idea what that horse's name is from the Collector Club, this paint thing. Um, yeah, I've been out of the hobby a little bit. So like these newer horses, I'm having a really hard time on their names. Um, we have my glossy Chestnut Bollywood Surprise, who I traded for a Troubadour. So I no longer have Troubadour, but I have this guy. So he's really pretty. We have my original um, Matt Chestnut Bollywood Surprise, who I've told the story on many, many times. He was the first Bollywood opened, whatever. Um, <laughs> then we have Checkers, e Minstrel. I believe is her name, Tahula, and the Matt Buckskin Bollywood Surprise. All right, moving on to my Bluegrass Bandits. This conga is still complete. Um, so we're gonna go from here. We have the metal, uh, the, 
we have the we have Metalark, who is a gorgeous Palomino girl. Um, I didn't get picked for her, but luckily somebody um, was willing to sell me one that they got picked for at cost. So um, that was really exciting. I've never been picked for a web special, so <laughs> I uh, still wasn't ever picked for a web special, but I was able to get my hands on her, so that's good. Then we have Champagne Wishes, who's my baby. Um, the Breast Cancer Awareness, Bluegrass Bandit. I'm yours, this uh, Strawberry Rome Custom. This is, uh, oh my gosh, why, why why would I ever forget her name? That's all that rest. Um, she's one of 76 from the Sweet Home Chicago event. Um, this is the Bay JC Penny um, Bluegrass Bandit. Okay, and then we have Stella and Milky Way, who is from the Celestial series. She's a pretty Appaloosa, very pretty girl. Moving down, we have the Warehouse Find Black Bluegrass Bandit. You can see that she doesn't have the shoes and she doesn't have shading. We have Bear, who has the shoes and shading. We have Under the Sea, who's from Briarfest 2012, I think, or 2009. I don't know. This girl has gotten really, um, oh, 2011. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Uh, um, she's gotten really hard to find recently, which is weird, but she's really pretty. I, oh, look at her. How pretty is that? Um, yeah, this mold is so, like, underappreciated. Um, and then we have Repeat the Beat, this blue roan custom by, by a lady in our region in Michigan uh, slash Ohio. I think the lady was actually from Ohio, but I don't remember her name and I feel so bad. Um, and then we have Blue Velvet, that's my very pretty girl. And then we have Lady C, sorry, Focus, and the original Bluegrass Bandit. Uh, moving on to my Stone Walkers last collection tour, I think I only had four of these, and I now have ten, I believe. Um, yeah. So this is Snowdrift. Also, if you know these horses' or OF names, then I'm sorry, but I don't call them by their OF names, at least some of them. Um, this is Snowdrift, that's his OF name. I call this horse Vivaldi or Lestravaganza. Um, I have no clue what his OF name is. This is Cadenza. She's a 2019 DH. This is Show Me. He is a 2020 um, Equine Affair special run. One of six, I believe. This is Phoenix. He is a, uh, I believe he was Tweeba um, Exhibitors Dinner thing. Tweeba is a Tennessee Walking Horse Breeders and Exhibitors Association. If you don't know me already, I um, have owned and shown and bred Tennessee Walking Horse my whole life, so um, as you can see, they might be my favorite breed. <laughs> uh, they definitely are my favorite breed. Yeah, anyway, this is Phoenix. He's really pretty. Um, I, I think I found him or Hannah did, um, but I bought him and he's just so gorgeous. Um, and then this is Ludwig. I don't know his actual name, but he's Ludwig von, Be von Beethoven. Um, it's called Ludwig, even though it's pronounced Ludwig, but it, it doesn't matter, okay? Um, and then we have Rio, who's a DEH of my horse, Rio, who passed away. Um, this is Blitz. I need to get his tail fixed, so he will be going to a repair artist hopefully soon. He's really gorgeous. He's, yeah, he's really pretty. <laughs> and we have Nicodemus and, um, this DEH who I gave a name and I always forget his name. I think it was Brom, but, uh, no, I'm sorry guys. All right, I'm gonna continue a little bit quieter because people are home now and that's a little, it's a little awkward. Okay, um, moving on, we have Winx, uh, just the matte one, although I would really love a glossy one someday. That'd be, that'd be nice, they're really pretty. Um, and then we have Ravel, Snowman. This is uh, Treasured Moose. She has the long tail, Sprinkles, the Black Eppelousa Lady Phase from the Treasure Hunt. She's also the long tail version. Um, then we have Matt Dominante, Glossy Dominante, from the Collector Club Appreciation thing from last year. We have Straight Bet, and, uh, <laughs> Duende. I don't know why I always forget his name. Um, then we have all my mini Winnies who, if anyone wants to buy them, they're yours. <laughs> um, moving over here, we already went over my Bluegrass Bandits. We have my, um, Glossy Palomino's Launch of Surprise. Uh, and then Matt, Gigi Valentine, Glossy Gigi Valentine, my 
um, Matt, Silver Bay, Slash of Surprise, uh, Stage Mom, Catch Me, True North, and Ichabod Crane. Moving down, we have my Hammies. We have Lafayette, Hamilton, and the Helmino, um thing <laughs> from last year. <laughs> um, we have Winter Wonderland, Adaya, Totalus, Carter, and Hal. Moving on, we have my DH from gosh um i think this was fall of 2018 and he came in in early 2019 then we have my spirit custom who's done by hannah there she is so, so cute and then my pop the cork the uh pretty matte chestnut guy i have my little micro caladin that hannah painted for me for my birthday and um i believe this medallion's name is tater um, I had their cart somewhere. Um, I believe it's sculpted by Joe Heaps of Break the Mold Studios, I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on that though. Um, I have my unpainted Vin uh, Vincenzo with the long mane. He will be getting paint, um, hopefully when Blitz goes for repairs. And we have, um... Erastus? 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 I think that's his name. He's a really pretty resident. Actually, I forgot that you guys haven't seen him. Um, he's like super underrated. I actually <laughs> have never seen him outside of the resins by Randy Page. Um, but he's like super detailed and really, really, really cute. Um, so, yeah, he's also just super affordable. So, I have him. Um, he'll be painted at some point, probably next year. Um, I definitely have plans for him, and I have I have color picked out for Vinny already. Um, and then I believe this is Renegade. I think he was the original Santa Fe Morgan, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, he's my only stone Morgan, and he's really pretty. He has dapples, and he's glossy, and he has a little etched star, and it's really cute. We have hash marks who is one of 15 from the Stone Bowl event. Very pretty boy. He's my st only Stone Iberian. We have my, uh, moving on to my flashes, we have the Matt Grula Stonely Surprise, Riderless, Matt Silver Bay Stonely Surprise, Little Texas, what's your name? <laughs> Geronimo. Uh, Saffron, the Mixer Quarter Horse from last year. This is Glossy Bender. You cannot tell that he's glossy in this light. There he is. And Van Gogh. My only stone Arab. Alright, moving down to my Malwaris. I have uh, Hot Couture, who is from Briarfest 2014. No. 2015. <laughs> uh, Raja, the original Marwari regular run. Nazruddin. Uh, Khalid. Kalakari. Um, I have no clue what this Marin Foles name, but they're the unicorn Marin Foles from uh, Christmas last year, 2020. Um, Karina Julep Favory, I believe is her name. Um, and Celestine. Then we have my Matt um, Best of British Shire. Glossy Benelli, Matt Benelli, Vahana, Yuletide, um, my braided Shannondell, and Marcus. To my Lonson of Glories, I have Zenyatta, a fleet Alex, my Matt Chestnut Quell Surprise, Sassy, um, I got a Matt Buckskin Quell Surprise, and uh, this is Christmas course, uh, Woodland Splendor. We have Theo, who's a regular run from this year. I believe you guys saw him in a shopping vlog. I think. <laughs> and then we have the 2013 regular run Clydesdale Mare. This is a vintage Clydesdale Mare. 
and a stone standing draft. All right, sorry, this angle is a little bit awkward because it's like under my desk, but um, well, not really like under my, like next to my desk. Anyway, um, we have Constellation, Diana, uh, the, she's the braided one, uh, Cody, who is tentatively for sale. <laughs> Um, we have the Matt Appaloosa CC Shuffle, the Gorilla Pinta, Gorilla Pinto CC Shuffle, Vetra Blue Boons, and the Matt Gray CC Shuffle. This shelf's a little bit awkward. Um, we have Cadno, who is a, uh, a Copper Fox Kanamara, and I always forget this guy's name. I want to say it's Percival that could be very wrong. Um, ideal. Oh yeah, I, I had an Inconspicuous this year. I bought him in January. Um, he was never in any videos and then I sold him recently to fund Briarfest stuff. Um, so yeah, no Inconspicuous anymore. You guys, I don't think he was in any videos, which is kind of sad, but yeah. Um, and then this is the original Shoujo Bay More Blood. Look how cute his feet are. I feel like every time I look at this horse, I'm like, look at him. How nice he is. It's a like a vintagey guy. Um, and then we have Bally No Castle or uh, Reggie, the one that I'm keeping. And um, oh gosh, Royal Caliber. I wanted this horse forever, and I always forget his name. Honestly, it's probably why it took me forever to get him. But he's gorgeous. Um. Oh gosh, sorry, this guy's like super dusty. Sorry about that. Honestly, all my horses are really dusty, but we won't talk about it. Um, we have Cortez C, uh, just the matte one. Uh, matte brass hat and Justify, Joker, um, Big Checks to Cash, that is Glossy Let It Go Done It, and Autumn Shimmer. Moving down, we have um, Secretariat. The Matte Deco Dark Horse Surprise and the Glossy Appaloosa Dark Horse Surprise, who was my first glossy surprise horse ever. Um, we have... What is your name? <laughs> Bozeman. Wyatt and Baby Flo. Sorry, these horses on the bottom are really dusty. Um, I have Oration Epona. All right, here's my babies. We have the regular run Clydesdale to go to my regular run mare. This is the uh, vintage Clydesdale full, except I think this is a pearly version. Um, this one did not come with the mare. And I'm pretty sure this is like a pearly base coat. I don't know. She's done really well at live shows. She got first in the um, draft full class of the youth show two years in a row. Um, this is the that goes with that mare. Uh, this one, I believe, is Ariella. This is from the Hackney and Thoroughbred Full set. Um, this is Celine and Pim. This is the classic Man of War re-release. Um, and then this girl I named Daisy, but I think she's from the Fun Full set. And we have um, Sugar Plum and Peppermint. I'm pretty sure this one's Sugar Plum and Pep whatever. Um, I think this foal's name is Genoza. I don't know. I don't have the mare. This was a foal that Hannah gave me. <laughs> um, and then there's the thoroughbred that goes with that set. The matte heartbreaker, glossy heartbreaker, child star, and cosmic one. Moving on, we have my chalky grazing mare. I feel like she hasn't really been in collection tours before. I feel like I've always had her packed up. But, um, yeah, she's chalky. She doesn't look chalking here <laughs> but in person she's definitely chalking I mean you can tell from her mane but yeah I got her for $20 with Clarion um my little Icelandics they're down here and it's kind of sad so um yeah they'll be moved so I can see them better but um anyway here's Elska this is the regular from this year regular run from this year he's really just so cute I like cried when this horse came out because I was like oh my god we have Glossy Fohufnir, yeah, Slavi. Um, this was one of the Christmas ponies from this year. I don't remember their names. 
I think it was like Joel or something. Um, and we have Enchanted Forest. Right there is Empress and um, that's just a dream. I'm just gonna zoom for this because <laughs> I don't feel like climbing up there, but. The very end is Fox Valley Oliver. Next to him is Matt Winter. We have Saltire, Ash, Xavier, Rise Boone, Pomplamoose, Matt Spring, a Custom Othello, and the Glossy Fall. Next to Glossy Fall is Tregoy Journeyman. Next to him is a custom done by Hannah. We have Oliver, um, a JCPenney Missouri Fox Trotter. I believe that's also a JCPenney um, walking horse or QVC. I don't remember. Um, and then we have Bucky, my longhorn, and Nari, who's apparently really hard to find now. <laughs> um, the original spirit, Prince of Chintz, and Bayberry and Roses. Okay. That is it. That is that is my collection. Um, here's a little bit of an overview. Um, please ignore my thing that's falling that does need to get fixed. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it took me a while to get this filmed, um, but I'm starting to get excited for Briarfest, and I was out of the hobby for a little bit. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I know we haven't been uploading a ton, but there's not much we can do about it. Um, I've been having real life stuff and horse stuff, so um, here's a little bit of an overview. Yeah, um, if you guys remember from my last collection tour, I had those dark brown shelves, um, and I have since moved to these beautiful white IKEA shelves um, that just make my room look so much bigger, <laughs> and it just looks like really nice with my collection. So. I'm really happy with it right now, um, but yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm going to try to post more over the summer, even though I've been on summer break for four months and haven't done that. Um, <laughs> uh, it's just kind of hard with not having really any new ponies or anything. I don't really feel like I have anything to post, so yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Um, I'm going to not give you the whole spiel about most people aren't subscribed, even though that is true. Most people aren't subscribed, which is sad, but that's okay. What can you do? Well, it'd be nice if they were. Ooh, oh, I almost just fell off my bed. Okay. So, I'm gonna go. Yeah, subscribe, watch Hannah's collection tour. We'll have Briar Festival out soon. Alright, I'm gonna go. Bye!